Hi guys, uh, this is the second part of a video which is trying to go through the following question. Two blocks, A and B, of weights 500 newtons and 1000 newtons are placed on an inclined plane. The blocks are connected by a string parallel to the plane. The coefficient of friction between the inclined plane and the block A is 0 0.15 and that for block B is 0 0.4. We want to find the angle of inclination of this uh, slope when the block is about to start moving down the incline. Um, we're also asked to calculate the tension in the string. Okay, so in the previous video we created a free body diagram for both of the two blocks. Uh, so block A, we have a free body diagram as shown here. And for block B, we have a free body diagram as shown here. Um, the rope itself has a tension force and we can see that for block A the tension is pulling up the incline um, and for block B the tension is pulling down the incline. Um, so just to, be, uh, just to show what's really happening there, the rope is being pulled apart. For the rope to be pulled apart there needs to be a force which pulls the rope apart. And um, what we see is by Newton's third law, block A and block B are um, pulling in the opposite directions compared to these tension forces here. Okay, so the next thing to do here is to create the, um, our equilibrium of forces for each of these two cases. So for the first free body diagram, um, we can pick the x direction as going up the incline and the y direction as going um, perpendicular, so normal to that incline. So we'll start with the equilibrium of forces. for block A. For the block A, um, we have the summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. And we now look for the x components for each one of those forces. Um, I'm going to redraw block A's free body diagram just so that you can uh, see what's going on with it. So here's our angle theta, our weight force which is acting down, on an angle theta our normal force, our friction force and the tension force as well. Okay, so in the x direction we have friction force going in the positive x direction. We have a component of the 500 Newton force going down the incline as well. Um, so that component is going to be 500 times sine theta. We also have tension force going back up the incline, so plus T, and then this is equal to zero. We could rearrange this equation if we like. Um, at this stage, I think that should be um, okay, and we'll call this equation number one. Okay. We can also have a look at the forces which occur in the positive y direction. So there's the y, there's our x direction. The summation of forces in the y direction must be equal to zero. So in the y direction we have um, the weight force acting down. So minus the weight force, but only a component of that, so cosine theta of that. We have the normal force acting up, and so that is equal to zero. 
Um, we can rearrange this and that will become Na equal to 500 times cosine theta. And that's number two. Okay, so the third one that we can look at is for the friction force. So this is F equal to mu N. And in this case, the friction force Fa is equal to mu for that interface. Um, we were told mu in the question, so for block A, mu is equal to 0 0.15. So Fa is equal to 0 0.15 times Na. We could call that equation number 3. And then try to solve this system of equations. If we put equation number 2 into equation number 3, we get Fa equal to 0 0.15 times Na. Na is equal to 500 times cosine theta. 0 0.15 times 500 we get 75. So this is 75 times cosine theta. We can call that equation number 4 and then substitute equation number four into the first equation, so equation number one. Okay, so for equation number one we get, um, so equation four goes into equation number one, we get 75 times cosine theta minus 500 times sine theta plus t equal to zero. So we can change that slightly, make it so that t is the subject. We get t equal to um, 500 sine theta minus 75 cosine theta. We can call this equation number five. Okay, so that story, we're pretty much going to go through that same idea for block um, number B. Um, we'll do that in the next video. Uh, so, we'll, yeah, we'll see you at that point there. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.